And those powerful winds are causing problems on some mountain roads. News 13's Megan Sharing has more on our live team coverage. She's from Buncombe County tonight. Megan, what kind of damage have you seen so far today? Well, Larry, these constant wind gusts are knocking down trees and power lines, and emergency officials fear that the worst is still yet to come. The first day of winter is a blustery one. Here in Buncombe County, dusting some slick spots, and then we've had a dozen trees or so in the three counties. Strong winds have been causing problems all day in Asheville. This morning, a downed tree on Tunnel Road caused this accident. A few hours later, emergency crews were called out to Hazel Mill Road. A powerful gust of wind knocked over a large tree and then onto some power lines. Both would end up falling into the road. Power crews wouldn't comment if that incident caused the traffic lights to go out on Patton Avenue. It's slow down, take your time, look for stuff that may be in a road, even trees, blowing debris, whatever it may be. DOT crews are preparing for a busy night as winds are expected to intensify. Power companies are doing the same. Line technicians have been working all day to restore power to many areas in the city. I was worried though because they said a big snowstorm, but it didn't really happen like it was going to. But there is one area of town that seems to be weathering the storm, the Asheville Regional Airport. I'm from Chicago and this is not cold weather. Airport officials say they have had a few delays, but nothing major. Travelers tell us the powerful winds and cold weather on this winter day aren't holding up their travel plans. And if we come back out here live, you can see that the flag right now is pretty calm going in the wind. But in just a few seconds, you'll see that it'll start picking back up. That's what this wind is doing here. It is uh, calming down and then we'll get a huge gust. And it's so powerful that it bites right through you. It's very uh, piercing to the skin. It actually burns when it hits you. DOT crews tell me that they will have uh, workers working an overnight shift. They say they are prepared to deal with anything or any problems that blow their way. Reporting live in Buncombe County tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.